Hello friends and welcome to another episode of TJO Men's Ministries. Hey guys, I'm here one more time with my pastor Doug, my buddy Pastor Doug. Hopefully you guys were able to catch the last message that we put together. Uh, I'll post that, I'll post a link to that video here. You can check that out if you haven't already. Um, you hear us talk a lot about men that need more of Christ and men that need Christ. Our message for you today is really for those of you that that would that would say yes I need Christ in my life I'm gonna let Doug go ahead and share something with you that's been on his heart I hope you guys enjoy this message well guys I'd like to share something with you that I've almost got complete certainty on I'm almost completely certain that all of you like receiving gifts it's one of those things that is amazing I want to share a gift with you that I made a choice to receive, but I also want to do it from an angle that maybe you haven't considered before. So here's a gift I received and that everyone receives. You don't get this from a friend, a parent, another person. You don't come by it because you're wealthy enough or educated enough. In fact, we all receive this gift. This is the gift that makes the most difference in all of our life. It's the gift of choice. Uh, I made a choice as a young man to follow Jesus. That choice has impacted my entire life. Um, my parents had made that choice, a lot of my friends had made that choice, but I had to make that choice for myself. And since the time I made that choice, things have come into my life because of that choice that are amazing. The gift of forgiveness, for example. The purpose, what gets me out of bed every morning, was a result and is a result of that choice. And ultimately, the promise of eternal life was a result of that choice. Now, let me uh, talk about that choice in, in maybe slightly a different term. Let me go to you. Not, not me, this, my story is really not irrelevant, but I wanna talk to you maybe who haven't made that choice today. And, and I've been around long enough to know there are plenty of good reasons and stories that people have why they haven't made that choice. Life's tough. Some of you have endured crazy bad circumstances. Some of you have even been hurt by people who said they made this choice. Life is like that. People can let us down. But I want you to set that aside if you would for just a minute and listen to what God has to offer. So, I was in Costco the other day, shopping for a family vacation. You know, Costco, the place where you buy gross quantities of everything there is. Like, if you bag a, buy a bag of chips at Costco, it takes like a month to eat that bag of chips. I mean, it's crazy, the stuff, but we're all drawn to Costco in some way, maybe save a buck. But one of the things that Costco offers draws me in every time. So every time I'm in Costco, I see one, two, three of these little displays set up and every one of them is set up so that I can sample what they have to offer. So it might be a breakfast sausage, it might be a product even, but I'm given this opportunity of a free taste. Not sure I've met anybody who doesn't like free, <laughs> and all of us like to check things out before we make a purchase. So I'm drawn to this idea in Costco of checking something out before I make my decision. Well, here's an interesting thing that the psalmist brings up in the Bible. In the 34th chapter, in the eighth verse of Psalms, the psalmist writes, taste and see that the Lord is good. In other words, I'm saying to all of you who haven't made a choice about your spiritual life yet, maybe you're trying to take too big a bite. Maybe you need to taste and see. Maybe you need to attend church once. Maybe you need to talk to someone who makes a claim to follow Jesus. Maybe it's listen to a podcast. What about the idea, though, of sampling or tasting just a, sim a sample? It's great that God offers that. Now, as someone who's made a decision, I do have a, a bit of a fear for you. I'm afraid if you taste a little bit of God, you might become addicted. <laughs> you might want more. But that's the whole point. Since I made my choice as a young man to follow Jesus, I have developed a craving for more. And God never disappoints. He is always there to open a new thought for me, to put a different purpose or a slant on my purpose, to show me a revelation, to give me a word. That is his job. That's what he's all about. And so everybody, today I'm just gonna encourage you 
set aside what everybody else says. Uh, do this for you. This isn't your family. Guys, this isn't your wife. This isn't your kids. I'm pretty confident that some of you watching this video have been investigating the things of God. In fact, John has hooked you. Ha, how about that for a pun? He's hooked you with the fishing part. I love fishing as well. That's how John and I got together. But you know how I started to fish? One cast. Just sampled it. And as soon as that bobber went under for the first time, I was addicted. Hey, I'm not going to simplify life into a bobber going under or fishing, but I am going to say, check out God. Give him a try. See if he's not a lot more than you thought. Friends, if Pastor Doug has sparked your interest and you have questions about this, you want to talk to one of us about this, you guys know that my email address is always in the description box below. Feel free to drop me an email address. Um, let me know that you want to talk to Pastor Doug. I'll put his, I'll, I'll be glad to send you his email address. Friends, I've said dozens of times, the most important thing we'll do with our life is our decision to follow Christ or not. I hope that you'll take that decision seriously. I hope that you'll take this message seriously. And please feel free to reach out to either one of us if you want to know any more. Friends, thanks for those of you that regularly watch our videos. Thanks for all your support. Guys, I hope you're checking out the other video. Um, I know it's summer. We've been putting up a little less content over there. But with fall coming right around the corner, we've been putting up lots of content again in the fall. Thanks for watching Team Jesus Outdoors. God bless Tight Lines. We'll see you guys on the water.